So this is going to be more of a PSA than an actual tutorial. There's an excellent tool called CyanEMU developed by user CyanLaser, who you may know from being the lead programmer for The Devouring. This tool allows you to essentially simulate VRChat inside of Unity so you don't have to launch into game in order to test things all the time. Let's say we have a, a button here that toggles a mirror on and off, a object that you can pick up, and a chair over here that you can sit in. These are all things that would essentially need to be tested in VRChat itself, but with CyanMU, you can just test that right here in Unity perfectly fine. So we're going to go to his GitHub for CyanMU, and I'll leave the link in the description so you can download this as well. It works for SDK2 or Udon. You can use it for either. Uh, there's a lot of information here for what it does and how it works, but we really just need to go to the releases. For me, the most recent one is 0.3.1. He does does bug fixes often, so chances are in the future this will be a different number, so you'll download the different one that's here. But we'll just click on that, and this will tell us the different changes for the new version. But all we really need to do is go to CyanMU here, the Unity package, click it, and download it. Once it's done downloading, we're just going to import this into our project by clicking on it. Select and import everything that's involved. And first off, this will give us a window that allows us to change all of the different CyanMU settings. For one, it allows us to toggle things on and off, but you can also change controls and your username in it as it emulates the player controller so that any checks for the networking local player actually worked correctly with this. So we're going to go up to Window, CyanMU and CyanMU settings. As you see here, uh, this toggles whether or not the tool is on or off. This toggles whether or not it gives information about, oh, the player teleported and stuff into the console. And if you have anything toggled as editor only, it removes it in play so that you get an exact experience of what it's like in the game. In player controller settings, you have the spawn player controller, which is essentially the same as having this on or off, but you can also choose different settings and I've typed in my username here. All right, we don't really need to do anything with these settings, so I'm just gonna close this. Now that I have this little scene open, I'm going to press play, I'm going to start up the environment here, and we'll be able to test out the features of this tool. So as you see, we immediately have a little menu here with a close menu button on the left and a respawn button on the right. If I just hit close menu, you'll see I can move around with the mouse and jump around. Up here you'll see that they use a little capsule for jumping around in. I actually dock the scene view to the left so you can see exactly what's happening. We can move around. We get little prompts when we are able to do something which is handy. So when we click on this, this toggles the mirror. So this works in editor. We can pick up objects and move them around. And I'll just set this up here. And we can sit on chairs. Uh, right now it's a little bit weird with some visuals, but I'm sure that'll be fixed soon. But other than that, this allows you to test things way faster than you would be able to test it just by booting up into game. Just make sure you have a VRC world object in your scene, otherwise it won't be able to spawn the controller. Uh, but other than that, yeah, th again, this is not so much a tutorial as just a PSA. Please download this. This will be in every video I have going forward to speed things up, because really the biggest cut that I have in my video recordings is the waiting for VR chat to load. So I will absolutely be using this in all future videos and that will give you context as to what is happening when I do that. Please download this, please use this, and thank CyanLaser because he uh, puts in too much effort. And with that, we'll see you all next time.